bear with me that we have a lot of men out there and women who have suffered quite a lot of issues. After quite a long time of uh, courtship and they end up uh, going uh, for separation and then they end up being disappointed, which has uh, currently been, uh, been an issue uh, all over the world. So I dream of it to come out with an agency where men, instead of going out there to waste your time chasing women here and there, <laughs> and another day you go on being disappointed, just rush to the agency and pick up a young woman for yourself. Wow. With the help of our counselors, Mr. Eric and Madam Grace, who is not here with us. They are very good at counseling, they can do the perfect matchup for you. And then within two, three months, you are you can easily get married and you can call yourself a man or a woman. A married man or a woman. Thank you very much. So it sounds really interesting. One month, of course it's barely one month. We are in uh, uh, January, if you say December, December 2020. Yeah, twenty first. Uh, we are we are right now in January and all. Barely one month into trying to put men and women together. How is it looking like? Yeah, faith. Uh, it is such a wonderful initiative, and uh, you know, many agencies like this are found in the Western world, yeah, sure. but this is the first of its kind in Africa and notably in Cameroon, Douglas of Douala. And for this short period of time, we have received more than 50 files. Wow. Barely one Mostly from the ladies. And we are waiting for the gentlemen to come in so that we start going through the files. We profile them. We screen them and make sure that we give them just what they want. Okay. We don't want people, especially when people go on, I don't want to do publicity or discredit. Uh, uh, another agency, mm -hmm. but many people have gone through social media, they have gone on Twitter, Facebook, and you name the rest, and they have found people who have disguised themselves like young girls, and then they hooked up, and at the end of the day, they are disappointed. That's true. Our role, our agency, is to bring physically the people together. The young girl will come, and the young man will come, the old man will come, and the old lady will come, and we'll sit them down. We will go to the profile of the lady, and she will tell us the kind of man that she wants in her life. I will go to the profile of the man. They start doing courtship. After a month, they come back to, to us for second counseling. And by the third month, we are preparing the paperwork for marriage. Wow, that sounds That sounds very easy, Jaira Toxic. Very, very, because you know. Are you a single? That, the, 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 I, I, I'm, what, what one thing that I should I should know is no, I'm single, but it doesn't mean that I'm I'm, in, I'm, I'm searching, right? Right, I'm right. <laughs> I'm not I'm not searching because I'm sure it's for those searching, right? And those that want to compact actually compatibility and everything. Everybody that is single yes. needs a life partner, yes, just like you. Have you heard? No, that's your question. No, no, that's what that, 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 Okay, what about? For okay, for example, I'm not searching. Okay. I got I got a, a, a partner already and I, and I wish to get married with that, 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 that person. So do I still need to register? Thank God that you are already having a partner. Right. But let me say something. Okay. There are a lot of people that end up with the wrong partners. Compatibility. Because of incompatibility. Mm -hmm. What we are doing, we want to make sure that at the end of the day we find a partner that is compatible, okay. suitable to each other. There are many people who got married because their parents brought them their wives. Mm -hmm. yeah, there are some, some people who sat in their homes and they brought the girl from the village and they say, you must marry this girl. And at the end of the day, he does it to satisfy the parents. But they were, are going through her. So what we try to do now is we want to know what you want for an ideal woman. But mind you, there's no ideal woman. But we try to find a match that will match up with whatever you want. And the same thing is the girl will tell us, I need a man like General here who can talk well, who's an entertainer, somebody that people love around. Then we go in for that match and we call the lady and say, okay, we found a match for you. Then we bring the two together. We are not bringing you to start a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend thing, and in two weeks' time, after you must have got what you want from the girl, and then the thing goes to an end. That is not what we are out for. I've got this question, right? Um, 
some persons may feel like they, that is what they want, but deep in them or spiritually, that's not what they need. So how can you solve that kind of a situation? Because I can come and I'm say, I, I, I look at fair, I'm oh, I love, I love, I love me some fair girl that you know equally is an entertainer and is seen on TV. That's my dream woman. But deep in me, or normally the kind of person I should need is that person that is said maybe you know away from public and you know maybe I don't know not fair, dark, and so how can you solve such a problem? Yeah, well, uh, General, yeah. uh, where you find yourself in our, of in our office, we have these files. Every lady has a file, complete file. All right. Everything about a lady, color, level of education, have you been married before, divorce, do you have children at home, how many kids, what are you doing for a living? Mm -hmm. Everything about that woman. So when you come to the office, you may tell us, okay, I need a fair lady. Uh, very beautiful, with all the figures well placed. Uh, uh, level of education, maybe she should have, uh, should be having maybe let's say a bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. Working or with the government, you give her a For now, I'm more than fifty-five. A variety. Right. The women are ready for marriage. That is why they are there. They so are ready. You cannot go there if you're yeah, not ready. Yeah, yeah. We cannot be proposing proposing you a lady who is not your match. Okay. We present you the files, everything about the lady. You say, oh wow, I prefer this lady. I want to work on this thing. And then with the help of the counselor, we're going to pick up somebody for you. The first, you have, uh, the first encounter will give you, the counselor is going to give you two weeks. Within the two weeks, you may travel her, go somewhere, sit, and just talk about yourself. The lady may come after the two and say, oh, this man talks about me. It's never at home. I don't like people like this. <laughs> I want a man who's always there by me. Definitely, the definitely. The man may come and say, this lady, she's so, she has her own uh, uh, way. I'm thinking of going abroad, but she only wants to stay in Cameroon because she's working in a TV station. She's a star based here in Cameroon, so she doesn't want to travel. So you may come and say, okay, I won't be able to continue with this lady. As well as you may come and say, okay, everything is fine. We had a nice time too. Oh, wow, come in Sakansi We are so happy. It was fun being with Anita and so on. Okay. The counselor continues. So at that level, we have the base. She's there for marriage. You are there for marriage. You are ready. And you're ready on. Thank you. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it looks like we have a lot of questions. But the truth is, given that it's pretty much one of its kind, the, the Eden Marriage Agency and all, and you're barely a month into, into a, a existence, and you already have about 50 persons who hope that they're going to, through your agency, have the right partner. What is it about Eden Marriage uh, Agency that makes you this confident that you'll be able to match, make or match up persons, individuals of different sphere of life or with different mindsets and all that? But that's a lot of work. It's not easy. People may come there and then it doesn't work out well. That is a lot of responsibility that you're choosing to show. I don't know if you, it is you now, as I will, or Mr. Eric. Yeah, uh, thank you, Faith. Uh, I, I, I will go back to the genesis of marriage. Okay. Marriage is not only holy but sacred and it's one of those institutions that god himself instituted we don't rush into marriage i am sitting here i'm 20 years old in my marriage oh, wow. that makes me mature enough to distinguish between what is good in marriage and that which is bad in marriage and let me tell you there are no two homes that resemble so with our pool of experience with the other counselors, and let me shock you, I'm a member of the, the Diocesan Marriage Enrichment Team. So with this background, I can discern, I can make a big difference. I can look deep into your eyes and see that this is marriage product. This is right for marriage. Just like the men, you can sit down and talk. And at the end of the day, I believe that Eden Marriage Agency has come to stay and has come oh, with a lot of good things. You guys very happy about what's sincere. They definitely do. So now you have to speak to the gentlemen out there. Given that we have we have more ladies or maybe definitely all ladies that have come and dropped their applications. What's pulling what's stopping these men? They are afraid of marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would like to encourage all the men out there. Some may say uh, it is not our culture. Mm -hmm. It's not our thing. Uh, we don't know the kind of thing they will come to an office to pick up a wife. 
the, the thing of the boss when you are abroad. Some go to church. Yeah. And they, they have to prophesy. Mm -hmm. And things like that. But I would like to tell the young men that we have been embracing other cultures. We have embraced other uh, Western cultures. Like pop music, we dance, it's not our thing. There are many, even the football we play is not our thing. Mm -hmm. Even the church we go to church is not our thing. We have our shrines back there in the village that we worship. But, uh, see, uh, so far as we are able to uh, embrace other cultures, just equally embrace the new system. It's easy for a man. You just walk to an office and they propose a variety of women mm -hmm. of all caliber. And you just pick your own as easy as possible. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> they don't need to rush behind the girl who tell uh, wait, I'm thinking, oh, let me talk to my mother and so on. She is the first year, second year, third year, the fourth year she picks up one push and she's gone. You are back in the country, you see, crying. What is it? Come to the office, we have our counselor. You have a variety. If you have your money, you want to get married the next month, everything is ready for you. The women who are there are ready. They are tired of their life, they just want to get married. <laughs> okay. We invite all, right. all the men to make use of eating marriage agency. Most right. definitely. Anyway, gentlemen, please, where is the office located and uh, what are the formalities? Because you asked me earlier on if I was single. I said I was single, I was not saying wow. But you said that, oh, wow, I'm thinking about it. So let's just say I want to drop my application and how am I supposed to go about it? Yeah, the first thing is I would encourage the, those who are interested to go online to our Facebook page, Eden Marsh Agency, just do the search. Go there, read everything about us, our address, articles. And then we probably, our office is based, we're based in Aqua. Okay. Directly uh, opposite the Renault. Maison uh, Renault. The building is called Immeuble La Finale. Immeuble La Finale, yeah. mm -hmm. Aqua. We are there, first floor, door 15. Or you go direct to our page, Eden Marriage Agency. You have all our information, contact address. Okay. Um, okay right. For the formality, we have a very small fee. Registration, registration fee. It's a very small fee. And then uh, there's a form to fill. We call it, when you put in there of photos, you can release four or five of your best photos. Snap yourself in the studio, can a nice photo to present to maybe the men or to present to the women. That easy. Or you call and then we'll give you every instruction how to do that. Thank you. All right. well, Oh, about the photos, please, ladies, it's time for makeup. Don't appear like something that you are not old. So your picture should match. <laughs> your picture should match who you are. Snap, really like. Snapchat pictures and Yeah, you don't have good Snapchat yeah. pictures there. So yeah, I, awesome. I wanted to uh, come in with something. Talking about the pictures, okay. it is very peculiar. Yeah, don't do makeup, and then somebody is getting married to a Mercedes Benz, and at the end of the day. He goes into the room for the first night and he discovered that he got married to a Renault Four. Ah, my God! Because they have packaged the lady, packaged the lady, and the man has packaged himself. And at the end of the day, there is disappointment. Marriage, we don't rush into it. It is a lifelong relationship that we must do it with all sincerity and with all honesty. We don't have to hide anything. That is Eden Care Marriage Agency. So these ladies that use a lot of, you know, artificial, you know, uh, stuffs to to do their pictures, please. You are one to. <laughs> they go to the front door, front door studio, whatever. And we have so many of them. Take. And you know, take, 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 take your normal natural, 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 natural picture. Take, natural. You can take them all. We haven't refused. But one time, I think that so you say, ah, this is the, this is the scene. When they enter here, there was no makeup. We look natural. Yes. As we enter the studio, and people will see us looking natural, Definitely. just like things looking natural. Yeah. And this is a makeup on too, but <laughs> at least behind the makeup is almost the same person, so it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Anyway, thank you so very much for having joined us on the program, and we're hoping you you come again. We're going to be airing a, a very short video for other details pertaining to the Eden Marriage Agency. But you didn't give us numbers. You did not give us numbers that we can call directly. Yeah, to get uh, to Eden Marriage. Agency directly, you can call or WhatsApp on 674 42 0257. Okay, take it all over again. 674 42 0257.
Okay. For more details and reasons why you should try the Eden Marriage Agency, here's a video watch. Eden Marriage Agency. Eden Marriage Agency. A Cameroonian matrimonial matchup agency. Born to enable men and women to encounter and get hooked up to their life partners. Meet our counselor at our head office at Aqua and easily, rapidly, and conveniently get hooked up with your missing rip. Eden Marriage Agency. Every man or woman deserves a life partner. Eden Marriage Agency. Eden Marriage Agency. A Cameroonian matrimonial matchup agency. Born to enable men and women to encounter and get hooked up to their life partners. Meet our counselor at our head office at Aqua and easily, rapidly, and conveniently get hooked up with your missing rip. Eden Marriage Agency. Every man or woman. You're welcome back. Thank you very much for staying with us. If you want to try it out, it's, it's, it's going to help, especially for those of us who've tried finding love on our own. Right, General Toxic? We'll struggle to you. find love on our own. It did not work. Maybe this time around, you could try out the Eden Marriage Agency. You never really know. And given yeah. the procedure that they've explained to us right here, it shows that it's going to be, it's, 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 it's very it's, credible. It's, it's one, of the, uh, one of its kind in yeah. Africa. Used to that, we're used to those dating platforms and all of that. Mm -hmm. It's true that many people are trying mashups well, on Facebook and all of that, but this one is an agency. Ah, if they fail, you can go and knock on their door. Pictures, uh, I'm not sure they will accept. <laughs> they cannot accept that. Anyway, let's let's welcome a very talented Cameroonian uh, artist. Yes, he is an artist and uh, one who has been able to use his art to speak volumes, to change lives, to impact this country and definitely the world at large. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure this afternoon, okay, it is not other than Kobe Williams. You're welcome to my local. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? Uh, today I'm good. I'm fine. It's Sunday. We praise God. All right. Yeah. <coughs> I'm, uh, I don't need to try to link the two of you up. You're always waiting for me to say something, General. Oh, say. what's up, bro? How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's cool. All right, we're so glad to have you right here. For many persons who are social media friendly, it's probably Facebook friendly, uh, they've definitely come across your work, maybe from someone that I shared and all. I have a painting, I have a, a chalk painting that you did for me on my birthday. It is super. I don't know if you've no, ever seen no, that. No, I'm jealous, no, I'm jealous. Yeah, you're wasting, you're wasting too much time, but anyway, you're a chalk artist. Yeah, if uh, we can say like that, they, uh, it's a special. It's a special speciality okay. in art. There is there is chalk. There is this exotic exotic forms of art. There are so many. There are people painting with uh, with blood. There are people using rare materials to to do art. Mm -hmm. um, me, the chalk I use, the sand I use, is because they are linked up in one way or the other to a story to myself. So. Uh, I'm a specialist in chalk painting, specialist in uh, sand drawing. I specialize in those domains of art. Okay, so tell us a little bit how this did all of this come about. It's always I'm sure there's an interesting story behind it all. Oh, uh, let's say for for chalk, everybody know for chalk. I've, I've been a, a classroom teacher, a primary school teacher for uh, for four years. I started teaching in 2013. I stopped in 2017. So I started using chalk uh, in 2016 because I wanted something different. I wanted to, to, to write, to tell stories in a different way because the stories are when you want to tell a story and you use the normal medium, people don't get you so well. Uh, I think that's a problem with um, the Camonia industry because they have a story to tell but they don't work in originality. In that in that way, people what you do is good, but people you don't entertain people that much. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for a way to entertain people and at the same time 
or share a message like uh, that of Gabu or, or when there's injustice somewhere in the world or in the country, I'll make sure I use my art to speak up. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the lucrative side because you cannot be doing all of this. You cannot be doing all of this for nothing. Yeah, you cannot be doing all of this for nothing. How, how is that side? Do people really pay you uh, according to how much, in fact, they pay you what you deserve? No, no. I've not started working the money my art deserves. What I'm doing now is, uh, is like, let me say surviving. I'm surviving because the, 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 I'm saying that because of the visions I have for my art. I don't see, people keep on asking me, how do you see yourself? Do you want to open a shop, a workshop to, to, to do paintings and sell them? I tell them, no, I have a different view for art. Okay. I don't just want to be selling painting. I want to, because I'm also a musician, so I want to, Merge. in a close future, m join my art with, uh, with the music I'll produce, maybe I'll start working on maybe next year. It's not, it's not easy to merge the two because art, only art takes lots of time. Sure. Lots of time. Wow. Lots of time. So just imagine joining music too. It's a, it's a whole From a classroom to, yeah. to to chalk art and sand art to, to music, music. Uh, that, that sounds yeah, like a lot. Right. Anyway, my question goes, it was it's almost what Faith asked, even though I want to put it in another way because, you know, it's it's normal that things that, that people don't, how do I say it, Faith, believe in things like that because you may have an art and a portrait is drawn with chalk and it should definitely have uh, a, that value, that natural value, and it should be expensive. Mm -hmm. But somebody will come to you and instead tell you that, oh, we're going to deal with no matcha, what's that? Instead of maybe, it's just I'm, now. Saying, uh -huh. I'm just saying anything, maybe the 100,000 yeah, people propose to him, he's going to tell that brother, I'll tell you, I'll give you 10,000 francs for this thing. How do so, you manage that? How do you, she says, yeah. How can I say, I, I face that problem, you know, because People, Camonians don't uh, haven't reached the level where they consume art. Yeah, exactly. it's shown in every domain in the industry. We don't consume art because to consume art, you need to have that standard of living that will make you consume the art. And most of the Camonians don't have that standard of living. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to mingle. At times, people come, they say, "Bro, uh, well, how much is this?" Uh, I say, "Like 200 k." You say, "Bro, I not get me 200 k." I beg you, take 40 k. <laughs> then you will, you will stay. If you keep on refusing those 40, 50 k's, in the long run, you find yourself with nothing in your pocket. And in the long run, I see it's myself so taking good. those yeah. those type of money. But uh, I don't just live on that art. There are other things I do. Uh, uh, I have uh, uh, I put in place a business where I uh, produce the art and people buy them abroad as, as people come and buy and they go and sell them abroad. So at times I have contract with some companies. That's why I work, wow. I work mostly on the entertainment side of my art than the art itself. For example, when I draw with uh, sand, what do I gain? People say I gain nothing, but in a way, in a way or another, I gain something. Mm -hmm. Because the more people share, the more it, it creates awareness, and people easily um, order order my works. For example, what I did um, in Dokuti uh, after the Kumba massacre. Yes. Yeah. I got lots of command. People wanted a to buy. A lot of people. Yeah, people wanted to buy this, the arts. I told them no, it's not for sale. I'm keeping that for for some other use. Mm. Other people follow you too without <laughs> even you know. Or maybe I should say they use your picture. Of course. With with so many people like you're talking about the Kuma massacre. It was all over his picture was used mm -hmm. all over. Many persons were posting, rest in exactly. peace and the phone crisis and all of that with your picture attached to it. Even when Daphne was um in fact, when let's say she was being shamed for bringing out or for sharing her rape story and all, mm -hmm. you did a painting as well of her and, and so many persons used it. So, uh, how is the popularity side of it? How do you feel about people uh, praising you or using your stuff <laughs> without necessarily giving you credit? Because some people use it, they don't even know that it's... No, I don't it's care. I, I don't care. Whether you 
you you give me credit or not the most important is the I focus on the message okay because my art has message I focus on the message whether you share it without uh, put, uh, giving me credit people know who did it that's for me that's the most important my art today uh, for example last year I worked mostly with uh, international medias like BBC CNN uh, Euro news my art is known um, mostly in nearly all countries in Africa. That's Africa. Grudging more, Grudging more business, right? Yeah, it brings business. Can you do the job, though? Of course! <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, the, 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 not the, the that, name Not is that calling. much, not that much. Like, um, the fame side of it, I don't focus much because I, I haven't attained the, the, the public and the goal I want. Mm -hmm. There's still another message I want to share. Okay. Uh, please permit me one. Of course, before. of course, why not? Do you do public exposés yet, or you know shows, or do you attend shows? Like for example, maybe I say anything. Maybe uh, Mr. Leo do a show, and you propose mm -hmm. to come forth and maybe do an arts reflex and yeah. you know, convince the people that. That's why know. I have problem with so many event organizers okay, good. because they know I do live painting. Okay. They know I'm I'm the fastest life painter in Cameroon. Okay. I do I wow. do stuff in two three minutes okay. painting. So most event organizers have proposed them my services, which they they did they never accepted or they never saw the, the use of it. Most of the time, I most of the events I do, I I never receive payment or I never. That's crazy. That's really but crazy. I don't. At my level, I don't look on uh, on any reward or whatsoever. What I want to is just a space for me to express myself. That's why most of the time I spend myself in the street because our uh, event or, or some event organizers don't give me that space. Only some few Magasco gave me space. Uh, I got space in their so concerts. So those are just some few and Stanley and you know, concerts. But for the rest. They know and I am um, like exhausted and tired of every time when there's a show I keep on calling bro uh, you know I do this just just try program me you see I'm tired of those stuff right now I'm producing my stocks on my way when I have something to express I go to the streets I use any material or anything I can use I share it and I trust those who follow me they will reshare and uh, and tag me and retreat everywhere on, on social media. That's how I work now. Now that's cool. It means you're, you're tired of the, should we call it the, I'm about to use a term that definitely is not <laughs> appropriate for TV. But anyway, how was the lowest amount somebody has ever proposed you for a painting that you almost passed out but you still ended up doing the painting? Uh, <laughs> with the Cameroon, the lowest amount, uh, like, uh, how can I say? Like, bro, <laughs> please paint me, do me portrait, <laughs> or do me a fire, do me, do I a portrait of me and my family. I have, what's the lowest amount? Come I on. I don't, the low, I don't know, how can I say? You don't remember? Yeah, From because, the time when you uh, started. The art is so, it's, uh, it has many forms. I use, for example, there are arts, I use my art in, um, uh, for cover art. Okay. At, for cover art, you see somebody, an artist will beg you on to say again at 5K. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going no, to be. No, at that time, time. That, no, at that time we don't, don't talk about money. <laughs> we don't talk you about money. We understand ourselves now. Uh -uh. <laughs> we don't talk about money at that time. It's just like uh, with the help, with the support, you know. But uh, I understand my brothers. But even me, if I was not an artist, I want to buy an artist. Somebody tell me that bone. I want that twenty k. I tell you, I don't get that. <laughs> You understand? So I understand people if I wear them. So any, I mean, I'm in a level that anything you have, right? It depends on so on the mood. Sometimes they do it, they bro. Mafikan with uh, 50k, you you take out 25k, you take, but it depends. It depends. So okay. the business, I'm not yet a company or an organization. You, you, you understand mm -hmm. I don't have a manager or whatsoever I don't fix prices because art is not price art is not money I don't focus on the money you know what the answer if I was focusing on the money then it, you wouldn't know the Kobe Williams you see today 
Yeah. At least uh, we all need those kinds of steps, especially when we're trying to grow. We're hoping mm -hmm. that the time will come when your the money they pay you is equivalent to the work and the effort that you've put into exactly. uh, having a certain art uh, or anything of that sort. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for those of us who are getting to watch you for the very first time on TV, discover you and all of that, which is almost impossible in this era, uh, how do we follow you? Maybe even numbers that we can call from here. I'm sure people are going to get to you. I have this. Um on all my social media platforms is Sir Kobe Williams. Okay. So and I have one number. I just have one number, one right. personal number right. and one business number okay. is seven three 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 two what? Six seven three thirty two thirty three eighty five. Okay. All over so, again, please. Six seven three 32, 33, 85. Okay. And the name on all social media platforms? It's Sir Kobe Williams. Okay. Sir Kobe Williams. And one more question I wanted to ask you. Uh, uh, do you like teach people if people want to learn? Are you already uh, open yeah, to I that teach art, uh Yeah, I teach art in some schools. Okay. Um, right. In uh, there are schools in Bonapriso, Bonanjo, that I teach art because I have an educative form of teaching art. So right. it's a program that I brought up. So I have uh, many ways in making money. So I You're can, attacking in different... Yeah, He's very art smart. Is so, <laughs> art is so varied. Uh, last year, 2020, uh, I felt so much difficulty because of this corona, since many events were closed, because I used to do uh, car fast caricature drawings mm -hmm. events. Yeah. So I had a contract with, um, how do you call this, uh, this whiskey, uh, it's okay. Uh, Don't call their name yet. Okay. So I had a contract with, with them. They organized <laughs> events. I used to go there and do uh, and do uh, fast caricatures in mm -hmm. there, like two minutes, three minutes for invitees. So since events were closed last year, so I felt many difficulties financially. But by the end of the year, it was okay. Okay. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Too. And we hope you come again. <laughs> Anytime you call me up there. Correct. Okay, General Toxic, uh, while we let go of Kobe Williams, maybe he'll even give us his opinion while the, the, the story is on screen. We have this really horrible story that would would like to share with you. We got it from one of our renowned Cameroonian blogs, Peta Tins, about a teacher who uh, has, ha she's, it's a she, she's a she, let me put it that way, who has been involved in really terrible sexual acts with, with her pupils. And according to the story that the pupil had to explain to, to uh, uh, their father, they say normally the madame, the police madame, would take them to the bathroom and uh, would uh, use her finger to, you know, touch their private parts or even ask. She sometimes they would take two pupils and ask them to touch themselves and all of that. It's a really sad story. And... I don't even know how to describe it. It's really, really shameful. Just picturing that kind of a thing and imagining that a teacher, you send your child to school to be taken care of, to be looked after, to be made a better person by the instructor, and then she ends up showing the child a different side of life, a side of life that she's not even ready, she doesn't even know how to deal with it. But the good side of the story is the fact that at the end of the day, the parents were able to find out. If the video, the said video is ready, please, can we hear the, the child narrate the story? Quand tu quand elle, elle t'amène à la aux toilettes là, elle te dit que quoi pour t'amener aux toilettes? Qui te dit ta copine ou ta maîtresse? Ta maîtresse te dit que elle t'amène aux toilettes. Et quand elle t'amène aux toilettes, elle laisse les autres élèves au de partir. Est-ce que tu lui as dit que tu veux pisser? C'est quand tu lui dis que tu vas pisser qu'elle t'amène aux toilettes. Et quand elle t'amène aux toilettes, elle arrive, elle fait comment Parle bien, parle bien, explique tout. Elle fait comment Elle enlève ton caleçon. Oui. Quand elle enlève ton caleçon, elle met où Je pleure pas. Elle met 
Ta corps de qui est aux toilettes. Après, fait comment Et après, fait comment Tu mets le doigt dans tes fesses. Et quand elle t'amène comme ça, tu es seule. Elle vient, tu as que ta copine la s'appelle comment Olivia. Olivia. Donc, elle te prend avec Olivia, elle vous amène à, aux toilettes. Elle met son doigt. Non, elle enlève même le caleçon de Olivia. Et toi, même tu fais souvent comment Tu touches aussi pour Olivia. Tu dis que tu touches pour Olivia, toi ou toi-même C'est toi-même qui touches pour Olivia ou c'est la maîtresse qui dit que tu touches pour elle la maîtresse dit que tu touches pour Olivia. Et tu touches aussi. Olivia touche aussi pour toi. Hein? Non, Olivia n'a jamais touché pour toi. Donc, c'est seulement la maîtresse qui touche ta part. Et tu touches pour Olivia. Et maintenant, comment Ta maîtresse t'appelle qui Il y a la maison. Il y a quelqu'un qui te touche aussi. Le soleil. Et à la maison là-bas, il n'y a personne qui te touche à la maison. Quand vous jouez, tu vas vous fermer la porte là. Personne ne te touche. Wow, it takes a lot of gods to be able to watch this. It's terrible. The young lady, the, the child, because they are between the ages of six to nine, just hearing her talk, it shows how traumatized she is. And she she seated on the lap of her father as she tries to explain the story. Kobe, we have to keep you here for you to Give us your take, like watching a video like that. How how, how do you feel? Uh, it's shocking. It's so shocking because uh, I encourage the parents, at least every parent, anytime your child comes back from school, make sure he tells you the day. Always make sure the child tells you the day because uh, how can I say there are so many things happening nowadays? Because even when I was a teacher, if you see what this, uh, you just see a young child. Their, their, their ideas, ideas have changed. So the world is no more the same today. Even the, the children, the old, they have an idea of what sex is. So, I mean, did the parents always make sure your child tells you how the day was because there are some parents, there are some teachers, sorry, that, are, that have, uh, I mean, devilish mind, I don't know. They are guided with some spirits. And if you your child is unlucky to fall in the hands of such a teacher, I mean, uh, the it's parents. Really I'm, oh, what I can say is on the parents. If you have a child in a primary school, I mean, a little child, make sure the child tells you how the day was. Make sure because if you don't do at a long at a long run, you would notice things that uh, will will not be reversible. That true. will not be reversible. That's true. So much would have gone wrong, and you'd have mm. no idea how to start. General toxic. <laughs> you you seem more traumatized than the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say here, but what I should my own my own uh, uh, my own additional thing I would want to say here is let's try to educate our kids to in the house or maybe I don't know schools too about this sexual, uh, you know, I don't know, about sexuality too, because there are certain things they need to know at a particular time, mm -hmm. things that are not good, you know, it's because we, sometimes we fear to tell them, because we feel that maybe it's that you could tell them, but we, they need to know what is bad and what is, you know, what what shouldn't be done. Yeah. For example, this is happening, and this kid may be doing it, feeling that she's actually doing what the madam is asking her to do, and it's a good thing, okay? But if maybe your dad or your parents are actually warning you, these things are not good. Mm -hmm. And maybe the, 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 the teacher has to take her to the toilet to ask her to do a thing. She, you know kids, they're very open and she yeah. definitely tell the, the teacher that my father said this is not good. Exactly. So away from that, you know. I was hoping that the said teacher in question, is she gets to lose her job. She's put behind bars of tra traumatizing these children. And it also points to the fact that there was some negligence in the institution. You cannot totally erase that fact. 
when we were teacher go to the browser with children to the more, it, two of than, them more than five minutes and they are there you don't know what what i'm sure she has abandoned her class of course things you know it means it's, it's something she has been doing for, for long. yeah and with other not, pupils not in just maybe she has uh, attended so many schools she, she, she's been into many schools maybe into so many schools and she has destroyed it, so many children her, that habit and she has been going on schools upon schools i mean it's not the first time she does that so it's really sad it's, it's really really bad and parents too we need to create an enabling environment for our children to feel comfortable with us we've had this conversation time and time again yeah. we will not stop if your child is scared of you they will never tell you anything it is true yeah. that you have to be strict they have to know that this is mommy this is daddy but you need to let me use this term tamper justice with mercy, mercy or whatever some of us are children daddy is coming pim pim they run they're in the room yeah. they're supposed to run to daddy not run away yeah. from daddy they're always very scared they yeah say what you know what what's in their minds they're just wishing they could talk i, I grew up with with, with with friends who had military fathers and mothers and i never liked the stories they were always like a father and a mother they are too strict and that is it's not an excuse it is true that you receive the training to go out there and maintain uh law and order but when you come back home remember to put on the father and the mother figure your children need that that is what they need to be able to tell you the truth. Anyway, let's uh, move from this bad news to talk about a little bit of good news. Uh, while we while we finally let go of Kobe Williams, so say congratulations to Nabila. She she has the ring on the finger now. General Toxic, her fiance proposed. Uh, yeah, her fiance proposed. She took social media to tell us that she said yes. We talked some time back. We talked some time back that that she had. Uh, she was engaged. We don't know this time. She's coming again to tell us we're suspecting because we had a, she had a ring on her finger. Some time passed. Now she has come again to say she said yes. So we don't know which is the second yes or is the final yes. No, we, this, this artist sometimes you just want to get mysterious. <laughs> you want to get mysterious and it's a funny thing. Anyway, I'm wishing, I'm sure you got the right information that she is actually engaged. But you should not do like the other people too, because at times we used to see people that want to do their clip or they want to create the birds, they go and say certain things that <laughs> well. you got people and then when you get to want to get deeper, they'll tell them it was a movie they will do. <laughs> it we hope that this one is a serious one. She yeah, should not, should she should not joke with her emotions like that at this. It definitely has to because no, it's true. Sincerely, there was one time I saw those pictures, you know. It was all over social media. I was like, oh, what I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those who felt stupidly for uh, Stanley Enno and Mirabla. I don't know what it was going through my mind. It was very clear that it was a music video, but I wanted to believe in something silly. I was like, no, they could be getting married and all of that. For why they were not getting married? Not at all. But anyway, if this is the final boss so far, eh, what's the congratulations? It's a good thing. But before we uh, have our next and final guest on the program today, on uh, Maloko, ladies and gentlemen, we are hungry. We don't. We are guessing that you're hungry as well, I'm right? Sure I'm to me, yeah. yeah, I know you stayed up all night. It was yeah. a long night. Okay, yeah. so let's step into the kitchen and check out what we're supposed to be having for lunch. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Cameroonian meal called Kwakoko. I'll show you the ingredients and then we can start with the cooking. Right here we have about seven medium cocoa yams. Um, this is leveled as tower in the grocery stores here. And this is a particular kind of cocoa yams we use for kwak kwak yams with these long ones. Not the ones that, are, that look rounder, but these ones that look slimmer and longer. Right here I have some spinach. This is about half a bunch of spinach that I have chopped. Typically we use cocoa yam leaves, but I couldn't find cocoa yam leaves here, so I'm going with spinach. About a cup of crayfish here that has been roughly blended. And right here is some dry fish. Smoked fish actually, this is about a cup and I made it at home. Right here I have my um, seasoning cubes of Maggi, one large pepper, salt of course, and right here are the banana leaves that I'll use in wrapping the kwa coco. And then some palm oil. Guys, let's get started with the cooking. So the first thing I'm doing is peeling the coco yams. And if you have a potato cleaner, you could just use that, but I'm a traditional girl, so I'm going with my knife. So when I'm done peeling, I'll show you what it looks like. So all the cookie yams are peeled and washed and I'm just grating them right now. 
I start with my hand and when it's left just a little piece, I use a fork so I don't chop off my fingers. The cocoa yams are all grated and you can see the paste looks multicolored and that's very normal because the cocoa yams, you know, the colors are not exactly the same, right? There's pink, there's white, there's some, everything in between. So, I'm just going to mix this thing. Time for everything to come together. And then, some salt goes right in. And when you're making pop just be sure that your seasoning is perfect because once you wrap it, you cannot adjust that seasoning, right? So it's one of those things that you really want to make sure that it tastes good. Tasting raw kokoyams is not the best thing in the world, but you know, sometimes you just have to, <laughs> if you're not good at estimating. For this quantity of kokoyams that I'm showing you, you just need about half a teaspoon of salt and three seasoning cubes. Because the crayfish is a little bit salty, it's going to lend some more taste to it. So, the crayfish, and that, remember the pepper, right? That big guy, that's it, that I blended. <laughs> Just mix. Goodness, adding that fish, and then the oil, which I've heated. You don't have to bleach it, but I like heating it a little bit before I put it in. And mix it, mix it. The only thing left now is the spinach, which I'll fold in right after mixing with the oil. I can see kwa coco coming together, coming together, coming together for a good. This is actually called kwa coco Bible. I don't know why Bible is part of the name, but you know, that's just what it's called. <laughs> this looks good. So, my spinach goes right in. We normally use cocoyam leaves, but finish is what I could find so oh, just fold this baby in and then we are going to wrap so these are my banana leaves all washed um, I've cut them into portions this is what one portion should look like and if you don't have banana leaves no problem just use aluminium foil if you can lay hands on non-stick aluminium foil that will be perfect so I've used some of the banana leaves the ones that were not too good and those are torn I've used them to line the pot so I'm going to use the rest to wrap the quack cocoa so this is how I do it just use your left hand and you hold the leaf like this then you grab some of that awesome cocoa mixture and you put it in you don't want to overcrowd it because you just want little sizes that will be easy to wrap Make it like this. Then you hold one end and you wrap all the way to the other end. So when you're done, you, you just twist. You could twist or you could just fold. You know, you just fold like this. And then the other side, you do the same thing. And then this is how I, I place it in the pot so it stays in shape. I'll repeat the process with the rest of the mixture. My kwa cocoa is all wrapped and ready. I always rejoice at this point of cooking because it's like I just have to let the fire do its job. I have a teeny tiny one here that's the baby kwa cocoa. That's the one I'm going to taste. So I'm putting in some hot water. I like starting with hot water, sometimes boiling water. So once I turn on that turn on that fire, it doesn't waste time to start cooking, right? So I'm putting it about halfway through. You don't want to put water that is covering it. 
this is going to cook for about one hour what you do is periodically you come and check after about 15 minutes or so you come you check to make sure there's enough water if there's not enough water you add in some so now that there's water in there I'll cover it with some more banana leaves so make sure I cover that so that the steam doesn't escape we can cook all that goodness together oh my goodness I'm so excited I'm just getting another banana leaf here cover everything don't forget to check every 15 minutes guys the coca cola is all ready I've opened the small one I had in there for tasting so I'll just go right in I can tell you guys what it tastes like right mm. it is so moist which is very important to me the seasoning is perfect and my highlight in this is that taste of the crayfish it just makes it so so good so we all are salivating, That's we are right. all hungry, even our, our guest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome uh, our last and final guest, to we'll name it anyhow you want to, none other than Wams, Mr. Classic. You're welcome to Maloko. Are you ready now, Maloko? Yes, we are. Is, is, is I supposed to answer Maloko? Yeah, well, yeah, of course. I mean, where else could I be? It's, it's one of the best places to be on Sunday oh, afternoons. Thank it's a pleasure, you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. I feel so great to see you again. My brother, the pain is always mine, you know, we always got things to say, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, once it's in the video. Faith, you didn't make pacha. I'm not. You didn't make pacha. Trying to fix my ass, bro. He complimented me, he said I was looking like fine wine on TV. That's how she always keeps the mood out. I mean, she absorbs the energy. You can't accompany me. You can't accompany me. Anyway, we are so we are so glad to have you on the program. Yes, I'm so I'm so overwhelmed to be in your presence and, and the presence of all those who are watching your viewers. Millions of viewers already. Guys are talking about Maluko everywhere. Maluko Bongo. Yes, that's how we roll. <laughs> anyway, you've been you've been in the music scene for a very very long time. Wams giving us good music day in day out. We're just rounding up with 2020. We are in 2021. How was the year for you? Uh, 2020 artistically speaking. Uh, 2020 uh, was a year that was full with a lot of uh, mixed feelings in terms of. Uh, it was a year that was characterized by a global pandemic, yeah. COVID, that we all know about. Uh, it was really a restricting factor for creative minds like myself. Uh, but I also used the opportunity to add my voice to the ongoing crisis we'll be having come on. This was a political crisis we know about. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the second release for me, uh, Silence the Guns Now, a song that was commissioned by the uh, AU Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, I released it. Uh, and later on, I worked on a project, an international project with 11 musicians on COVID, uh, starting now as one. Musicians from the USA, England, uh, Russia, Egypt, and then I, I, I stood for Cameroon. Wow. And that marked uh, some, some kind of end to my social humanitarian music projects uh, that I've been working on for the last uh, five years. So some guys are already like, why wow, your look has changed? Yes, it has changed. So new you're, you're trying, you're, you're, a new sound is coming. Interesting. So that it's starting this 2021? Yes, 2021. Okay. It's, it's a whole new dawn. Uh, by the close of 2020, our sites were already showing. Uh, Worms, for those who are watching, local cinema web series. Uh, one of the key actors of a QA film, Tralala, Professor Angler. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who have been watching, and uh, plenty of surprises that are going to be unveiling, unveiling on this very today uh, now that, that's what we're talking about yes. so when you say new sound and all what exactly do you mean new sound because uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, talk on, on on social media uh, these days come on uh, we want to be represented and sometimes you get so embarrassed uh, when you travel abroad in one of my tours or uh, at festivals and you, you bump into a crowd of, of people and are like okay speak Cameroon for example uh, speak Cameroon. They expect that every country has a language, mm -hmm. they have a, a, a dance move, a, a music that is theirs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you, you start thinking like, uh, what's Cameroonian? What's Cameroonianness? What makes you Cameroonian? Mm -hmm. 
and uh, at the time I was I was I was working on a project in that was in uh, Switzerland with uh, musicians from across the world, and they were asking me, "Can you play Cameroon music for us, modern day Cameroon music?" Yeah. At the time, it was uh, the song that was actually running was 2018 was Nyango no Jisu. Super. Was, I was the A-list artist at the time, and I had to play a song, and uh, guys were like, "Ah, Cameroon, okay." And my Nigerian friends were asking me questions. Well, what happened to Makosa? What happened to uh, your folk music that we used to know before now? Uh -huh. I was a bit embarrassed. I was well, like, I mixed it with modernized Cameroon sound. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's not easy helping us. Uh, maybe, maybe you have played them some Salatia or uh, I did, I did. I played um, uh, La Femme Magale. Modern Makosa. I played La Femme Magale. I played La Femme Magale. I played La Femme Magale because they were young stars, they were more interested in to, to hear music f from people who look like them, music. trending music, so I had to play uh, some sounds. Okay, I, I was just thinking, so you began to ask about Makosa, you know, I think uh, so, 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 Makosa, like, so the weekend, uh, the rhythms will do, will do Makosa, like, you know. I, nah, I mean, I played a couple of songs mm -hmm. from, from, from home, uh, they were like, this is West African music, you know, with the invasion of Nigerian music around the world yeah we're getting there to is, that conversation yes, there now is, there is there is temptation you're tempted to think especially if we have artists who are not very uh, uh very keen at carving out what is ours to actually put it out there you most of the times and because there's also what they call music intersection when you take uh Njan, for example from the grass field and you add a couple of elements sometimes it might it, it intersect with what uh, Don Jazz is doing in Nigeria yeah. with these fellows, and then you might think that it's Nigerian music. So it's 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 it's, some, it's something that we have to creative minds have to really work on and actually carve out the sound that can be modern day mm -hmm. canon, canon music, and that's what I'm working towards. Okay. With a couple of other musicians. That that sounds interesting. Since you already started uh, the the. The diving into the influx of foreign music into Cameroon music and all of that. Many persons, it, it, the the debate is still long standing. Many persons, many Cameroonians are of, they are divided over how much we're supposed to allow foreign music to get into our country, from how much we play them, from how many foreign artists we invite to, how we react when it comes to news from foreign artists and all of that. As an artist who has been into the game for a very, very long time, for donkey years, what do you think? Um, I, I think that uh, at the end of it all, it's business. Okay. It's business, and if we consider that it's business, there's supposed to be. Uh, we have to find common ground between uh, accepting others and also imposing ourselves. Yes, yeah, imposing and ourselves. Yes, yes. I am one of those who is actually championing the cause for an 80-20 quota. Okay. Uh, because it is very important, whether we like it or not. Uh, when Nigeria started working on to build their industry, most of us were watching fancy videos from Hollywood, Hollywood. We're watching things that were like, ah, look at look at that, that's crap. What are they doing? Yeah. Nigerians spend their money; they were buying it and encouraging their, mm -hmm. their yeah. own, their own. And that's how their actors and actresses, their musicians, became because they respected and bought their products. Mm -hmm. They had a stamina, they had recognition, and when you're accepted from home, outside can easily accept you. So, so uh, it is high time. I was speaking with a couple of friends. We had a, a webinar on, on Zoom We're talking about how they did Kenya, Kenya, yeah. for example, and Uganda, how they did on the domestic industry is thriving. It is strict. What we did, everything is politics, it's legislation. We need to enact laws and enforce them, laws that will uh, 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 not ban, not ban because we can't impose, we can't impose a, a, a stuff on people. Uh, we passed legislation that would say in public places if you must play more than 20% of foreign content you have to pay high taxes. Mm -hmm. It is very logical. If you think that, okay, no, I don't care about domestic growth or entertainment, domestic uh, entertainment growth, I want to listen to what I want, okay, you pay high for it. That is going to automatically give a, a, a build, de develop an audience that depends on local content mm -hmm push those who are producing the content to actually work because there will be competition. Of course, and competition. automatically the person that has the money to buy, these guys who bring foreign artists, they don't they're not they're not, they're not emotional. 
they are in for the money. It's business. So yeah. what? It's business at the end of the day. So what they are looking for is numbers. If they discover uh, most of Cameroonians get so excited, they will send messages when they hear that a foreign musician is coming. That's what I what I'm going in for. Man, if they discover that, oh, they talk on social media, everybody's talking about the next artist that is down the street, the next artist that is from Kumba, the next artist that is from uh, I don't know where. They will, that's where they'll be. That's where they'll be putting the million because they know these are the guys that will send messages. These are the guys that will buy tickets. These are the guys that will do. And when the investors are, are multiplying. That's how you see Wams. Wams has a mansion. They're talking about Wams. He has a mansion. He has a car. He's employing a car. Yeah. He's employing a cook. He's employing. And that's how. That's how we're going. He's paying a DJ. Very he's paying well. a DJ. He's paying an MC. It's, it's, well. Everybody eats. It's a vicious cycle, my brother. Because when you read those comments on social media, you're like, wait a minute. Do these guys really, really understand the undertone of what we're saying? Most, most is, people that don't really know. How much? Uh, how, how much it costs to many people? I don't really have an idea of exactly the the, the details of the yeah. entertainment industry because, because many of us speak out of ignorance. It's not yeah. like we've carried out as much research as possible to really know exactly what it's all about. Yeah. And those persons that are constantly complaining are those that are not even supporting their own artists. Yeah. You have a Cameroonian go to perform at a concert and everybody is sitting down. Mm -hmm. You pay tickets to go and sit down or to go and vibe and have fun. It's terrible because they, they have a statement they make until you start doing good music you start selling out what? i used to i each time i go to my box and i see things that i always i've taken the, my time to start quoting I, I always tell them listen to this person listen to this person listen to this person you know just listen to those four and tell me if you don't get good melody because first of all i don't know if you know what music is music is good melody and good animation good singing good whatever goes on music it takes the people down. There's some music you listen in, you know, in when you're, you know, your car. Some music when you're sleeping. So why? why my, my, my brother, my brother, it's it's, it's 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 well understood. They say money calls the shots. Yeah. It is that is what yeah, that's sure. what's going on. No, it's, the, it's about the numbers. It's about the figures. Nigeria has over 200 million people. There is no corporate body that wants to succeed in the world that ha doesn't have headquarters in Nigeria. Mm. Think about it. I don't want with, without any publicity, Pepsi, Coca Cola, all of them that represent in Nigeria. Everybody is looking for visibility. So there is there's a high chance that a dude that starts rapping in this neighborhood just here, mm -hmm. there are more than fifty companies that looking for visibility. Any chance everyone will give a million, two million? Why would they not make fancy videos? Why would they not uh, uh, get the the, the the million views on YouTube and get I, a I lot of that money? I think that policies too is you know makes it easier too. You know, yes, authorities they don't need to, uh, authorities need to rebrand, I think. Many people are calling our uh, Ministry of Arts and Culture very yeah. Uh, should we say they have said they have used the term useless? They say the ministry is not doing its okay, job. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of work that no, 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 they are no. supposed to maybe facilitate. I mean, we listen to they're the news. supposed to maybe facilitate. We listen to the news every day on 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 Prime, you know, on my media Prime, and for months now we haven't heard anything about you know the culture. What where what where 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 is the news? You know, but when you listen to other people, you always hear something. Maybe an actor has done this. Maybe. A musician is the last time social media, the, 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 that ministry was buzzing was after Cam Quintus's movie, The Fisherman's Diary, was selected to was Cameroon's let, official let me, say this. Let, let, let me make this point very clear, my dear Cameroonians, we are, we are living in, at a time when uh, we have one of the best African talents. Our Cameroonians are very, very talented. If, if that's the argument, I, I think we have no it's argument. Not valid. It's not about the talent. It's about the stakes of the industry that have to be in place for, 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 yeah. for these talents to be reviewed. Mm -hmm. With technology, people have seen the best things in the world. So it's very cheap and easy for you to criticize because you have seen a very fancy video that you don't know how the video got the money. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he has been into this for a very long time. And, and the system in place there enables and him to be... And he also comes from You understand? Yeah. I'm speaking, I'm not going to blow my trumpet, bro. Uh, we have a lot of talent in this country that I've been respected. It's not like we are blowing. The, uh, while, speaking, are while I'm speaking, I have been representing Cameroon. This is for two times I've been invited as guest artist. The only black to perform uh, in front of heads of states, it is from this country. 
I, I'm not getting the recognition in this country. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm a witness that I have gone to you. To, two to times, two times performer at the World Youth Forum. It's a stage that not everybody performs there. Mm -hmm. Best, uh, best inspirational song from Africa is from Cameroon. Newsman, I won it in Switzerland. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful piece. No one is talking about it. Are you saying there's no talent? I listen to Salatel's album. I'm like, this is out of this world. I listen to Tizi Panchak. I listen to Bendik. I listen. Really? So what is it that really? really? What is it? What is it that we don't have? What is it that we don't have? It's about confidence. And sometimes you want to think, think like Cameroon is a nation where every other person that was scared of war in different parts of the region of the Africa <laughs> ran to. So you, you tend to feel like it's like everybody feels that they are champions. They're supposed to be talking about me and not about others. So if they're not talking about me, I, I don't Sorry. care about what they're saying. Let me pay, let me pay attention to uh, that's a, That's the feeling you get. I, I, that's I, I, true. I, I, I know. Oh, yeah, so, anyway. so, no, so, I don't know. You're not speaking here. I don't know. You're not going to say that. Now we're going to carry away by the comments. You showed me. We don't have so much time. At once, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. once, to perform it that way. Um, I know your question. I just wanted to ask him about the the sound track that he's been listening. Right. Anyway, I was just wanting to. Uh, okay, let's let's talk music, guys. I guess you're watching now. Yes. Let's talk. Let's talk music. He was talking about you know people people actually. They don't want others to grow you know i want to give an example in the in the with with our roger millers and the Eto's. you know these persons are people that have made cameroonians gain roots in football in other countries that's true but each time they will call you call cameroon the first first, first thing you relate is Eto, roger miller definitely i have a, i have a senior brother that played in, you know in a league in in australia because just because he put on the cameroon jersey and everyone was like, are you coming around yeah, Do you know someone they told yeah. So that was it. He was in the field and he defended himself. So why is it that when we see somebody who's almost seen the, the uh, he's at the tunnel and he's almost seen the light, all what we need to do is to push this person. And when the person is up there, you know, at that point, oh good, Cameroon is equally a music country. So why don't why we can't we do the same for our own talents? I think okay. we need to try that too. That's 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 for the audience and for every entertainment. I, 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 it's not about this, but I think we need to reassure the audience. Things are changing. No, yeah, definitely. From most, the DJs from, to the promoters to mm. the musicians, guys who make good music. The other guys are already understanding. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's not like Amen. 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 It's not Amen. 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 We don't have Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 from them for a couple of years. Yeah, they're instead, they're instead, they're instead making us to understand that you need to promote you. Yeah, they always they always find the out is, um, yeah. from there. When you ask them that question, they'll tell you that they'll tell you that we need we are the ones who can push yeah, us up it. there. Anyway, enough with the entertainment <laughs> and music. Yeah, tell okay. me, you're going to perform in general artists for us in a couple I'm of minutes. So after, call me the news man. <laughs> call me, talk to silence <laughs> the guns now. <laughs> silence <laughs> the guns now. Now we're going to be discovering. I'm going to be taking you guys to the grass field. Okay. We have over. Uh, 40 ethnic groups with very rich uh, cultural uh, di diversity. Mm -hmm. I'm taking bottle dance to a whole different level. Wow. Okay. Yes, I call it bottle so. Whoa. Um, my local guys are going to be discovering the very first extract uh, from, from, from the bottle so album that's going to be dropping. Can't you hear an artist? Personne ne veut te couper. Même certains DJ vont te frustrer. Hey, can't you hear an artist? Quand y'a maman. Quand y'a papa, y'a pas de décès, il y a des crises. Eh, quand y'a maman, quand y'a papa, y a pas de décès, il y a des crises. Y a des walk, walk, des des chop, chop, des des top, top. <laughs> <Tout à l 'air. laughs> Thank you so very much, uh, Wax, Mr. Classic, for having joined us on the program. Yes, our technicians are going to be directing you how to take on the center stage. But for those of us who want to follow you on social media platforms, um, Wax Classic, W A M S space K L E W S I C. Wax Classic, YouTube, Facebook, Insta, everywhere. That's that's what's up. And for those who want to think about booking Wax for shows, six. Seven six three three five two two four six seven six three three five two two four. That's the contact to my management and faith. I have a special surprise for you guys. <laughs> Tell us that will be off camera anyway. Uh, come off -camera on, anyway. anyway, we'll come and talk about it on the next edition of my local. That this is what Wams do for us. Anyway, it's time for Wams to take on the center stage. That was our, our, our long music artist on the program this uh, afternoon. We're hoping that you enjoyed today's uh, edition of uh, Maloko and uh, he's going to be performing for us journal artists. We'd like to tell you too that the broadcast of this show comes up tomorrow as from uh, 3 
p.m. But stay good in whatever it is you do, okay? So start us put on our dancing shoes and then join Worms on the stage to boogie down. See you next Sunday as from 2.30 p.m. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, 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 Personne ne veut t'écouter, même c'est lundi je vais te frustrer. Quand tu es jeune artiste, oh, oh, quand y'a maman, quand y'a papa, y'a pas d'un décès, il est plus. Quand y'a maman, quand y'a papa, y'a pas d'un décès, il est plus. When you don't find a mot, nobody really cares. Sing high, sing low, y'a pas d'un décès, il est plus. When you don't find a mot, nobody really cares. Sing high, sing low. Yeah.